Hello, this is Joseph from Gorilla 3D. In this screencast, we're going over a little introduction with GIMP and more or less how to get this kind of image going. As you can see, it's, it's somewhat of a 3D effect and it has a reflection on the bottom. Um, so I'm going to teach you how to do that in GIMP. Let's go ahead and close this. Um, the first thing we're going to do is do a print screen. Um, GIMP has that built in, so you can go to Acquire and Screenshot. And then you can do a whole screen or a partial screen. So I'm going to do a hole with a delay of two seconds so I can actually click on the window before it tries to take it. So I'm going to click on it and it's going to take it and throw me back another image of what happened with it. There goes my image and I can go ahead and get rid of this Firefox browser. Um, so now we have our image here and if you want to crop this you can just use the selection tool. So make sure you have that selected and you can just drag your selection to however much you want and go to image and then crop to selection but I tend to want all of my image so I'm going to leave that alone and I'm just going to go to image and re or scale image and I'm going to have this at about 480 for width and click on scale and I'm going back to image and this time do canvas scale and I'm going to change this to 960 Now that we have that set, let's go ahead and click the move tool and drag your layer towards the middle. And we can just go ahead and duplicate this layer. So you can click on the, the duplicate button here and rename this to reflection. And just have that as main. Alright, so with the reflection, we're going to do layers, transform, flip vertically. And you can hold shift and down to move it down every 10 pixels or whatever. Um, and if you're having a trouble seeing the layer border or if it's getting in your way, you can go to view and layer boundaries. Click on the show layer boundaries and I'll take that off. All right, now that we have our reflection, we can actually reduce it a little bit. So give, reduce the opacity. And let's make one more layer for the actual background. I'm just going to move that down towards the bottom from holding a click and drag. And we're going to paint this a black color so you can actually see your reflection a little bit. Um, the last head which we're going to do is actually do per some perspective stuff here. So if you click on the perspective tool um, and then you go ahead and click on your, your main layer here, you can start to transform it. So if we pull this inwards and pull this inwards, we get the little angled effect. we can transform it and I'll give us that and we also have to do our layers so a little bit more harder um, so we're gonna have to try to make it aligned with our actual image here Alright, that looks pretty good to me. And just click on transform to confirm it. Um, it's kind of off, but I'm just going to leave that for now. And the last thing I want to do is go ahead and fade this um, this reflection. So I'm going to use the path tool here. And as you see, I have some some lines here that I can go by to try to get it in right perspective. So you can just start clicking around to create nods. This will be our actual end up, end up being our actual selection. And we can just go ahead and click back on the on to move it around so it, it matches up with what we want. And then you can click Selection from Path. Um, and then after that, we're going to go ahead and feather our selection. So you can go to Select, Feather. And about 25 pixels is a decent amount. And then we can go ahead and just do Edit and Cut. And you see it, it gave us uh, some kind of re reflection there. If you want it to go a bit more extreme and have a greater reflection, you can just go ahead and do that and do um, just redo the actual image here. So, or not the image, but our actual selection. And then you 
you can also increase the feather. So again, select feather, so 50 pixels, and then cut it. So you get know, a little bit better of an effect there. And that's pretty much it. You can just go ahead and save it after that. Or you want to file and save. Here you can just give it the name so you can pretty much type my image jpeg or if you want to do it by say if you don't know the extension that you want to save you can just do it by extension by clicking the plus down and there's a whole slew of them um, so there's gif jpeg and xcf is gimp's native um, file format for saving layers and everything you can also open up photoshop files and but it's not all that great it just does the basics of font and, and layers it doesn't import all the effects that it has um, and that's pretty much it. If you want to specify a folder, there's a browse my folder here, and there's also a drop down menu. Hope you've enjoyed the screencast and see what kind of awesome effects you can just do in GIMP.